I bet the second or the third time you did an embroidery on your machine, you thought to yourself, you know, I wonder if I could make money doing this. I'm having a good time. Could I make some money? Could I pay for my machine just by doing a few side jobs? Maybe you can. Today on Sewing Tech Talk, I'd really like to explore that possibility. Can you take your machine and make some money with it? I think you could. Let's talk about that. I'm Kathy. This is Sewing Tech Talk. Let's dive into the world of business. You know, a lot of people have thought about that. Can you make money doing embroidery? And I was blessed to be able to work for a sewing machine company where I met a lot of people and they have purchased their machine and started a business. So I'd like to share some of their success stories with you today. I'd like to talk to you today about what could you do? How are you going to maybe start a business? And I have some homework for you too. Some questions you need to ask yourself to see if this is right for you. So let me tell you about mm, some of the things that maybe you could do. Because I think one of the secrets to doing your own embroidery, have you ever heard the quote, if you do something you love, you'll never work another day in your life? Well, it's not quite that easy. <laughs> it does require some work. But you're going to need to find some niche, some place where you are comfortable doing an embroidery. What is your passion? What do you enjoy doing when you do embroidery? Because all of those things, well, most of those things can be monetized. Now, I've written a handout for this and all my other videos. And it has three separate parts that I want to share with you. I have been honored to be a part of some clients, customers, businesses where they purchased their machine and they ended up with successful embroideries for very different people. So I've written their stories in the handout, something that might inspire you, something that might touch on your situation. I've also in the handout, I talk about where you can, what you can do. How is your business going to be unique from everybody else? And we're going to explore that here in just a second. And I also have some hard questions at the end. That's really where your homework comes in. Any kind of business, any kind of major life-changing event like starting a business, probably should, I think you'll agree, require some, you know, some self-reflection, some questions. Can I do this? What are, what are the things I need to consider? So I have those questions in the handout too. And that's going to be your handout. I mean, your homework from the handout. So, but the first thing you need to do before you even ask yourself hard questions is think about, mm, what am I going to sell? What is going to inspire me to want to do this to make some money? Now, let's talk about some of those things. You know, a embroidery machine can do lots of different functions. This is the Baby Lock Array, and we're going to be talking a little bit about how this machine is uniquely placed to help you do an embroidery business. Could you start a business on your standard machine? Well, you could. But I'm going to strongly recommend that you consider a machine like the Multi-Needle Array. It is built for business. It is a semi-industrial machine that you could run all day and all night. I don't recommend that necessarily for your standard machine. It's also great if you're a high-end hobbyist and you really want to do a lot of embroidery. But there are some features in this machine that make it different than your standard regular flatbed machine. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. But let's talk about what you might want to sell when you do your embroidery business. Now, I know when I do embroidery projects, I like to do a variety. I kind of need to, to share them with you. But there's some of them I enjoy more than others. And I'm betting that's what happens to you as well. Maybe you're into, maybe you're into small items. Maybe you're into making cute little children's wear. Maybe you enjoy doing that kind of a thing. Maybe you want some quick, fast, and easy small projects that you could sell. Here are some little onesies that I got at a big box superstore. And you can see, now I've used the items that were totally, designs that are totally built into the machine. This one says freshly baked, pretty cute, right? 
genius at work. Now, this is some fun stuff that you could sell maybe at a boutique. Maybe you want to sell something online. Maybe that's going to be your jam. There's all kinds of online venues for you to sell your work. And they can either be items that you've come up with a great idea, you've done it, or it could be custom personalized items. Now these different little onesies were very inexpensive, but you could get even more cuter ones. You can source different items. You don't have to make the item to do the embroidery on it. You can buy what they call blanks. So you could buy pre-made hats, onesies, shirts, all kinds of fun stuff, and your embroidery makes it special. So let's move on. What are some other things, some other fun things that you can do? Well, Here's a couple little uh, keychains that I made. These are very, very, very easy to do. And as you can see, they don't require a lot of material. So this might be a fun thing that you could do, maybe sell online. You could, um, you could create, uh, create a bunch and with different fun sayings and sell them in a boutique, all kinds of interesting items. Very quick, fast, and easy. So this is a fun idea. Now, think about it. Don't people love their pets? I know I do. Think about different venues where you might be, you know, selling your items or different groups that you might sell to. So this is a keychain, but it could very well be a dog leash, a bridle, all kinds of different things for pets. What about going to a dog show? I bet Grand Champion Fluffy might need a new lead with his name on it. Just might be a thought. Now the Baby Lock Array is a great machine. It's kind of on the, well, it's a little bit on the big side. But did you know you can get a stand to put it on with wheels and it clamps on to that stand? Think about it. You could literally take the machine to a boutique, to a dog show, to a horse show. Yeah, you might require a little van to put it in the back of. But having the machine out with the public would create a whole lot of interest. And you know, people will pay a lot of money to have something special and specific for their pets. Not a lot of investment on your part, not a lot of time on the machine, and this could be a nice little money maker. Speaking of having mm, people loving their pets, there's all kinds of fun ways that you can take that maybe to the next level. I know I love to do what's called photo stitch. Now that involves a computer program. And yes, it's not just the machine. It also involves a computer program, but I love doing photo stitch. And I've done actually a video on photo stitch before where I did the portrait of a puppy. See the portrait of the puppy? Pretty cute, right? So this is Rosie. And you know, Rosie turned out pretty good. Now, Rosie could be made into a picture, a framed, uh, a pillow, all kinds of different things that you could do with Rosie. So, you know, I think people might want to make an investment having their pet in a custom portrait. Now, you know, this is something to consider. This type of thing makes you different than everybody else out there selling items. So doing custom pet portraits might be a different way to go, but it might be something that you could do. You know, I actually set up the array to have it stitch overnight to do this because the array automatically changes colors. So this might be something that you could do. You might be able to make money while you sleep at night while the machine is going and it's finishing your item for you. So that's something that's fun to think about. Now, what about specific groups? Think about it. There's all kinds of clubs and teams and everybody and embroidery adds that special little touch. So say the softball team or the gymnastics team, might they want to have a custom embroidered bag to carry all their gear in? They might want their name, the name of their club, their number if they have one. You know, they might actually need that to identify this bag from everybody else's bag or a backpack. 
You know, what about a swim club? There's lots of different competition out there. If you drive, if you look in the, maybe the yellow pages of your local uh, city, you might find embroidery, embroidery businesses out there and they're already doing some embroidery. So how can you be different? Well, I have a suggestion for you. Find out what they do and do something different. Maybe they do all kinds of things. Maybe they do this, but they don't do the swimming suit or they don't do the leotard or they don't do those specialty items. You could do those if they didn't. And if someone's getting that done, they might want to get this done at the same time. So think about that. One of my big suggestions for your homework is go out and shop the competition. Go out and pretend you're getting something embroidered. Think of an idea, what you might want to do, and go out, see how much they're, see how much they're charging for it. See how much their lead time is. Could you be better? Could you be different? It's a great way to make your niche in the business world, in your community, so that you can go out there and make some money. Now, there's other places out there too. There's businesses. What about the local small plumber? He might only have a couple small trucks and it might be great for him to have, you know, a little hat or a t-shirt. What about food trucks? They may have to wear a hat when they're doing their business inside the truck and wouldn't they want or like or need one with the logo for the food truck. Think of all these extra businesses. How do you do that? Well, just drive down the street. There's lots of different places that might want a little something something with embroidery. What about your local community government, right? If you live in a small town, might, you know, the city council, the mayor, whatever, might they want something with the city logo on it? Might be a great way to do that might be a great way to advertise. What about your local church? Maybe, hmm, maybe the liturgical gear or whatever the priest or, or pastor or whoever it is, maybe they wear something special and maybe you can do something for them. Might be a great way to contribute to your local church and it may be great advertising on the side. You never know. What about custom items like, what about, what about weddings and bar mitzvahs or ba mitzvahs or quinceañeras? What about those? Just talk about bridal for now. Don't you think a bridal shop might appreciate? You could replicate custom antique lace on your machine in any color and in any fiber they want. If they want fuchsia silk antique lace for a bridesmaid's dress, I bet you could fill the need and <laughs> that would be a great source of income. Going to do a boutique? Think of something that's different. Think of something that's unique. Stand out from the competition. So if you have a machine that'll help you do all these kind of fun things from bags to hats to whatever, I think a machine like this might be the way to go. So let's talk about the array. I'm going to switch over to the array and show you some of the features that this machine has to make it really, really, really unique, great for doing a business, and not only that, but super easy to use. So let's switch over to the array. I'm going to tell you some features about that. And I want you to be thinking in the next couple seconds, what could I stitch and make money from? So I actually did finish this pet portrait last night <laughs> while I slept. I started in the evening while I did dinner. I fixed I set it up so there was 18 colors. That's three thread changes on the baby lock array. And the evening, I just set it up and let it run. Now the array, like I said, is uniquely positioned to be able to use for a business. As I mentioned, it's a semi-industrial machine. So it's made to run quite a bit. And it will run quite a bit before it actually needs maintenance. But you do need to maintain it as you use the machine. Something that might be different than your standard machine is you give it a single drop of oil every morning before you start. 
and the machine reminds you about that when you turn it on. This machine is incredibly easy to use. It is a little bit different than a standard machine, but it's incredibly simple to actually just know exactly where you're going to go. So now, for example, the machine actually has, it's very simple, lots of built-in designs, we'll get to those in a second, but it has built-in videos to show you exactly how to use it. I've had some customers in the past one of them, the example that's written into your handout, he had never done embroidery before. He had a screen printing business and knew he needed to go into embroidery to satisfy those clients that he couldn't help with the screen printing business. Never had did embroidery, but he used the operation guide, the videos that's built into the machine. He took advantage of the classes at the dealer and he asked the employees in the store for help. Soon he was confident enough that he was doing embroidery. So pretty easy to get started even if you are a very, very, very beginning novice with embroidery. So that's important. Another thing to know about this machine is it is a multi-needle. Like I mentioned, it's going to take in six colors at a time. You're going to set those up when you start and it's going to go through those first six colors. Now, most logos, most different items that you're going to be using for business, generally they're about six colors or less. So this machine can be set up and you can just turn out one item after the other. And that's kind of important to know. Now, that also means that the machine is going to be changing over the, th the threads so that you don't have to babysit it as you're doing any given project. It's a speedy machine. It's going to stitch at 1,000 stitches a minute if you ask it to. But if you do have a specialty thread, remember, make yourself different from the competition. Maybe you want to use a metallic thread and maybe they don't. Well, you can set up the machine for using metallic thread, you can custom set it up. And when you bring up an embroidery, you can tell it how fast you want that thread to go. Use common threads all the time, like a lot of black or a lot of white. Just put those on a certain needle. Pretty easy to use. You don't even have to change those colors. And there's a lot of designs that are built into the machine. So, for example, there's a lot of different designs that you could be using to use as a logo for a business. Now, I know not everyone's going to fit. Joe's Bait Shop may want a bass and there may not be one in here. Harry the Plumber, maybe that's Mario. Maybe Mario the Plumber needs a certain special thing. So those designs aren't built into the machine, but you can access those. For business, what you can do is you can, even if you don't have the skills for creating a design, you can shop that out. There are professional digitizers where you can send them an image and for a setup fee, which you charge the client, they'll send you back that logo any size that you want. So you don't necessarily have to be a computer whiz. If you learn how to do it, that's great too. But something that's also super important on this machine is that it has 49 built-in fonts. I'm not even talking the large fonts. It has 49 built-in fonts. Now, if you're doing a logo, a business name, those are going to be super important. And all of these are or I'm not going to use the word license. They're made for you to use for business. If you were to go out with a different kind of a commercial embroidery machine, they charge for a license to do lettering. Each of those designs comes with a fee. These all included in the machine, use them for anything that you want. And look at all these different choices. There's going to be a font there that you can use when you're doing a business. There's even some incredibly tiny ones that work perfectly for those specialty items, like a shirt, t-shirt for hats. Now, if you're going to do just regular items, say you're going to do these type of items like the leashes I talked about, or the pet portraits I talked about, you can do all of those with the specialty hoops. We're going to do a onesie. It fits in the, sp in the not the specialty hoop, the hoop that comes with the machine. Because why? Because the Baby Lock Array is a free arm machine. And I can do some pretty small items that would be challenging when I'm doing them 
on my standard flatbed machine. That's why, another reason why this machine rocks out for business. Like I said, easy to use. You can run it all day and all night. It's a free arm. It automatically changes threads. There's one other feature that's pretty amazing. Let's pull up, let's do a onesie and see what that is. So I'm gonna pick, hmm, let's pick a font. There's a good one, nice and standard. Like I said, these are all, there's 49 different ones. You could all use them for business. But what's kind of cool is they come in multiple sizes and you can resize them. So let's say, let's say, what should we say? Grandma's favorite, let's say that. So let's start out with a G. You literally see what you get. There it is right up there. I know I want it kind of small. So all I have to do is tell the machine, I want it kind of small. And all you're doing is you're literally typing in the machine the letters and the sayings that you want. It even has a return key for multi-line text. On a large commercial machine, it's not quite that easy. Trust me, I know. So we need to say grandma's G-R-A-N-D M A, of course there's punctuation. Grandma's, where's my little apostrophe? Grandma's. Now, let's go to the next line. Grandma's favorite, right? Capital F A V O R I T E. One thing it doesn't have that I'd really like to have is spell check, <laughs> but that's okay. Even if I were to make a mistake, I can go back in and I can totally fix it. So I can check it out just to make sure that I haven't messed up when I'm trying to do something fun. So there's grandma's favorite. Before we leave here, let's look and see. You have all different ways that you can do it. I can arc each of the numbers. I have all kinds of controls on this machine to do something that's gonna absolutely work for just about whatever kind of lettering I want to include. So now, Here's the lettering, it's all set in there. I have lots of controls. I can change the color of it. I even have kerning that I can change the different spacing of the letters. I can have right justification, left justification. I can even put quilting behind it. That might be kind of fun. I could actually automatically just make it a patch. That's pretty cool too. So if I wanted to do something and do like a different patch to go on different items, maybe I wanted to go something on the bottle. There's so many things that you can do and that you can sell. Now, this onesie, like I said, is going to be just using the standard hoop. So all we have to do is get the item on there. I've actually done a video on different multi-needle hoops. All I need to do is adjust this for the smaller hoop. Put it on there. This is gonna fit around the free arm and I'm ready to go. Now, if I come to edit end, I can take this saying and I go to embroidery, how fast is this gonna be? Cause you know when you have a business, time is money. This is a whole nine minutes. Wow, but I have it slowed down. What if I rocked out? Oh my gosh, I just took it down to eight minutes. You know, you could work up a sweat doing embroidery. So let's get this one started. I'm going to loosen this, adjust it for the different hoop, and the machine automatically knows what size hoop I have on there. Like I said, if you're new to doing embroidery or you're new to this type of machine, the mean ha machine has built-in features so that it's really hard to go wrong. If I didn't have this hoop in there correctly, the machine would tell me so. That's pretty good to know, right? So I'm going to take the onesie, put it on there, Adjust the, adjust the frame holder. Now, I want you to see that the machine tells me that the carriage of the embroidery move, move, is going to move. But if I didn't lock down my hoop, it would also tell me to do that. I have it on there. Let's make sure that onesie goes around the free arm. Because the one thing we can't sell you to do your business is you got to make sure you double check. Pretty easy to do when the machine reminds you, but you got to think of some things too. So I'm going to say, okay. Now, when I'm looking at this onesie, I put it upside down. 
So let's fix that. Let's go back and let's just turn it upside down. It's incredibly simple just with a touch of a button to get it exactly where you want it to be. And the machine's automatically showing me this is the size of the area I have to work with. And I say OK and I go to embroidery. Now I also have a guideline. If I hoop this in here wrong, I actually have a guide light that I can use to make sure that everything is absolutely perfect. That's going to be super handy when you are doing, you know, maybe someone else's shirt that you want to have it on there perfect. So I have it in there. If I wasn't talking, this would have been really, really fast. I think I got it on there straight, but we'll check it out. We'll hit go and pretty soon we're going to have a custom item that I could sell for more than I paid for this little onesie. I'm just saying. Actually, I made a mistake. I put a quotation mark instead of an apostrophe. Oh well, but that brings me to a point. Mistakes happen. It's not that big a deal on a onesie like this, and I actually think I could take that out. But just be aware that sometimes mistakes happen when you're new, just by extra of your blanks, and you should be okay. Now, if other mistakes happen, if something should happen, if a thread should break, the Baby Lock Array has specialty tensions. They look different than the tension on your regular standard flatbed machine. They are built, it's like a, ro it's a roller tension. So what happens is the thread rolls around there, and if there's a slightest little break, the machine will automatically stop. So you have less chance of messing something up. Now you can do a ton of stuff with the hoops that come with the machine. Sometimes you might want to take your business to the next level. If you want to do some specialty items, there might be a specialty hoop that you might want to invest in. You can do that at the very beginning or you can kind of build up to it. Want to do hats? You can get a hat hoop that's special. There's lots of different specialty hoops, things that you can get to make your business, like I said, you want to be unique. I hope I've nudged you a little bit to actually think about doing an embroidery business. This machine is pretty amazing. It can do all the things you need for your business and you can be successful and having fun at the same time. So I'm gonna send it off to George. I wanna thank you for exploring this with me today. Don't forget, you have homework. Take your hand out, ask yourself some questions and yeah, think about it. I think that a embroidery business might be something that you and your machine can do together. Thank you for watching. I'm Kathy. This is Sewing Tech Talk. And go out there and get businessy. Thanks, Kathy. That was an incredible presentation. The Baby Lock Array offers the right combination of performance and technology. Now, because it has that open arm, you can embroider almost anything from bags, to hats, to backpacks, to sleeves, all kinds of items that you can't embroider on a flatbed machine. But it also has uh, such technology, including the ability to size your designs up to 200% or decrease them 70% and maintaining the same quality. Now it has six needles that interchange very, very quickly and it goes up to high speeds over a thousand stitches per minute. It's large, a nearly eight by 12 inch embroidery hoop gives you beautiful embroidery of all types, as well as you can even send designs via Wi-Fi to the machine. You have uh, 50 built-in fonts with the ability to arc and array and customize, plus some very, very large monograms that are so beautiful. 
My favorite feature is that crosshair laser. I can simply draw a line or a crosshair on my, my uh, garment and mark two points and it automatically aligns it so that I have perfect embroidery every single time. Now we have an incredible opportunity on this machine. The Baby Lock Array has a regular retail price of $14,999, but right now it is on sale for $11,999. We're offering interest-free payments of only $199.98 a month. That makes this very affordable. We're also including free shipping across the country. But right now also, as a special offer, we're including a bonus. This bonus includes nine rolls of stabilizer, 10 5,000 meter spools of Floriani thread, 63 spools in virtually the rainbow colors. I have a box of bobbins, 10 packages of embroidery needles, plus two exclusive collections from Anita Good Design that has over 650 embroidery files and a membership to love and knowledge where you can learn everything about the Baby Lock Array. This bonus has a value over $2,000 and it's included free with the purchase of the Array while we have this in stock. Now, I mentioned that we have interest-free payments of $199.98 a month. If you're not wanting to finance this, I have even a better offer for you uh, where we have even more bonus for you. So give us a call at 1-800-865-9664 or click on the link to order this machine. Bye for now.